So guys, boom, DJ Wagner, the number one player in the country, regardless of the class. This man, DJ Wagner has been the number one player ever since this man came out the womb for that 2023 high school class that consists of so many top players, Robert Dillinghams, the Mikey Williams, the GG Jacksons, the Justin Edwards, the Mackenzie McBuckos, the Ron, I can go on and on and on. And DJ Wagner, he still remained as the number one player ever since he was a freshman. Whenever the initial rankings dropped from ESPN a couple years back, I think back in what, 2019, 2020, nobody i wouldn't say nobody but a lot of people did not know who dj wagner was everybody thought the best players were the brawnies the mikey williams everybody thought those were the best players because they had the most attention they had the most shine they're doing between the legs dunks and whatnot but dj wagner when he first came out not too many people knew who he was and if you fast forward all the way to now the fact that dj wagner is still the number one player in the country over all of these guys everybody has not dropped not one time according to espn we gotta clap it up but like i said he's been doing this his freshman year if you remember, it was a pretty solid year in my personal opinion. That's where he emerged as the front runner for that 23 class. His game was just so fluid. When you watch him, he was just, he kept everything so simple. He averaged about 18.5 points a game as a freshman with a lot of other great players and great teammates as well. He actually had a guy that went to, um, that went, went to Kentucky and the game whenever DJ Wagner and Camden played against Evan Mobley. That's how I knew that DJ Wagner was going to be special. He had a game high, I believe 18 or 19 points in that game. And I don't know, I don't want to say DJ Wagner was miles ahead of his compatriots in that class, but he definitely looked like the legit number one player for that 23 class at least at that time now his sophomore year this is where my personal opinion i think dj wagner took his game to the next level he improved on so many so many areas on the floor and he just was just execution textbook execution good and even though that year was a COVID year he did improve his scoring points per game per average and he also led his team to an undefeated record and averaged about 22 points a game for that entire year but i will admit i'm gonna keep it a bean i'm gonna keep it a buck Camden, they barely played any tough competition in his sophomore year, but just watching DJ Wagner in that season, he definitely improved in many, many areas of the floor, and he still remained as the number one player even after his sophomore year. Now, his junior year, this was a huge who's year for DJ Wagner. This, this is my personal opinion. This was the most important year for DJ, and it really, really showed us just how good of a player that DJ Wagner is because when players and high school players get to their junior year, this is where players start to set it. You kind of get an understanding of who's the best players in the class and whatnot. Guys like Justin Edwards, Gigi Jacksons, the Robert Dillinghams, the Mattis Bazelluses, if I'm saying his name right. All these guys, this is where they emerge, and this is where players tend to catch up to those top guys. If you guys realize, DJ Wagner is not 6'8", he's not 6'9", he's only 6'2", and it's not common for point guards or combo guards to remain as the number one player throughout all of these years. I feel like in DJ's junior year, he was very, very focused. He focused on himself and he had a pretty phenomenal year in my personal opinion. He averaged the same old, same old, close to 20 points a game. He led his team to the finals in the state tournament. And although they did come up short, he lost to a legit opponent in my personal opinion. He still showed up in that game which matters most and then he went on to have a great eybo circuit and that's what brings us to where we are today dj wagner's senior year now what can we realistically expect for dj wagner in his senior year is he gonna go off is he gonna average 30 is he gonna be on cruise control is he gonna be on a mission to still prove that he's the number one player in the nation why are you watching my video here not subscribe subscribe to the channel guys it takes two seconds hit the red button we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers like the video guys i think that we should really expect the same old same old for a dj wagner a player that's going to be doing what his team needs him to do score points play defense guard the opposing team's best best guard win games nothing more i mean I feel like I'm going to be looking forward to the big types of tournaments, the big games, those nationally 
scheduled and televised games that Camden is going to be playing in. I'm definitely going to be looking at whenever they play against Sierra Canyon. The game last year, that was definitely an epic, epic, epic game. I want to see how well DJ Wagner is going to perform against the big dogs. We know they're going to be playing against Roseville Catholic again this year. I mean, this is going to be easily going to be a movie. DJ Wagner and Aaron Bradshaw versus McKenzie and Simeon Wiltshire. Definitely an instant classic. And I want to know who you guys actually have um winning that game by the way as well but yeah i expect dj wagon to average somewhere in that 20 points a game like how he has these past few years i definitely think he's going to showcase that he's still the number one player i definitely feel like he's going to showcase that he can be a legit combo guard and a point guard for a winning team and i definitely feel like he's going to want to prove that he's still the number one overall ranked player in the country regardless of the class at the time that I'm actually recording this video, we still do not know what school that DJ Wagner is actually going to be committing to. Is he going to be going to Kentucky, Louisville? If this video is still getting some traction after he uh, announces what school he's going to be going to, come, and come back to this video and let's just see where DJ Wagner actually ends up going. I personally think he should go to a Kentucky, team up with Robert Dillingham, team up with the Justin Edwards. Aaron Bradshaw, his teammate is already going there, but that's just my personal opinion. You watching this video, how good overall do you think DJ Wagner's senior year is going to be? Do you think he's still going to be remaining as the number one player? Do you think he's gonna have a bad year? Do you think he have a mid year? What are your honest opinions about DJ Wagner? Do you think players are catching up? What do you think about DJ Wagner for his senior year? What player do you guys actually want me to make a senior video next as well? Get in the comment section down below. If you haven't seen this video of me breaking down Mikey Williams' new team and his new teammates, who is he's going to be playing with, click the video on the screen. Yeah, with all that being said, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate you for watching this video, taking the time out your day. I hope you have a great, amazing day. And yeah, with all that being said, thank you for watching another episode of Juice Made TV. Peace.